Sean, you've taken the wraps off a brand new airplane today. Describe to us the thinking behind the Hawker 200. I would, I would describe it as having seriously engaged in the marketplace for the better part of 12 months uh, through a variety of direct or indirect conversations that totals over 3,000 qualitative discussions on a variety of our products, including what to do in the light jet category. And uh, we were very excited to uh, perform that survey work. We had professionals uh, both within the company and external help to help us interpret that so that we could make informed decisions. And the culmination of all that is the Hawker 200 you see behind me right now. Why now? What's the timing behind this airplane? Because as Mr. Boyster said, the total recovery of the industry is about 12 to 18 months out. Why mm -hmm. introduce the airplane now? I think that, um, well, Hawker Beechcraft did a phenomenal job of investing in and taking risk in the innovative composite technology marketplace. I think that there was not as much done in the market-facing conversation to ensure the world understood why this airplane is as good as it is and what this airplane is capable of doing and how it competes. As we went out into the marketplace, people would actually ask me, why is this airplane not a hawker? Especially those who own and operate a Premier One who have uh, grown to appreciate the performance and the comfort of this airplane, they would sit aboard their aircraft in that cross-section and literally say, this is a hawker. And we elected at this point in time to position the airplane as such. Uh, we're gonna be aggressive in, in how we go to market and take an airplane that I think uh, has, uh, has ample appeal uh, globally uh, and uh, grow our market share. We think using the Hawker name um, and properly, you know, more properly attributing um, what this airplane has uh, as a competitor uh, is the right strategy. Freedom through performance. At Sirius, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom? So what's the niche for the airplane? You know, it's fascinating because there are everything from, you know, ultra high net worth individuals whom have need of an airplane in this class and category for, you know, personal travel purposes to business purposes to a variety of Part 135 operators because of the single pilot certification of the airplane who have uh, found it to be uh, capable of being a profitable asset in their fleet to really mid-sized companies again globally not just in the US market who appreciate the cost benefits of this airplane and the cabin cross-section I, I like to say to people you know never before has there been a uh, an airplane with a fuel inlet this small with a cabin cross-section that large that flies that high that fast that far and if you're interested in being um, attentive to detail and focused on cost management uh, and productivity, this is a pretty good place to uh, place your bet. Walk us through some of the numbers. How high, how fast, how far? Okay. Uh, the airplane, uh, it'll be certified to uh, 45,000 feet, 473 knot airplane. Max range is 1,625 nautical miles. Uh, it has a basic operating weight of uh, 9,320 pounds. Cabin dimensions 13 feet 6 in length, 5 feet 6 in width, and 5 foot 5 in height. Time to climb uh, 13 minutes to flight level 370, 24 minutes to flight level 450. What's the certification process? Where are you in that? When does the airplane fly? When is it certified to go out to customers? This airplane will be uh, certified for delivery in late 2012. So what is the price point on the airplane? The airplane uh, is going to go to market at uh, $7.55 million. And is the order book open now? The order book uh, is indeed open now. Do you look more at an owner-operator situation? Is this going to be an air charter? Is it going to be a corporate airplane? Where do you see that falling? I think it's all of the above. We have very successful 
operators in the 135 niche, I don't really think you can pigeonhole the airplane. Now, clearly, those who have a requirement to fly eight people, you know, 3,000 nautical miles, um, will be talking to us about the Hawker 4000. They won't be talking to us about this airplane. But it makes a great stable mate for almost any uh, midsize or larger fleet. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Let's shift gears a little bit because you also introduced a King Air 250 today. Mm -hmm. Why another upgrade on the 250? You know, again, let's go back to the market-facing conversations that uh, we've dedicated ourselves to. The King Air is an iconic brand. The airplane is, you know, a bulletproof workhorse. As we talked about investments in the airplane, obviously investments ultimately have to be reflected in the price. What the marketplace told us uh, very consistently was this airplane, this match of fuselage, of wings, of engines, of avionics, you know, it does everything I've bought it to do. Don't worry about farther, don't worry about faster. Quite frankly, what we'd like is some additional capabilities because I use this airplane to go to places that, candidly, I would not otherwise get to because I can't get commercial service. And we all know how enjoyable commercial service is on a good day. So what we did is we listened to that input and sat down with a group of highly skilled people and uh, found a way to add over 1,100 new airports as a result of this airplane's uh, you know, field capabilities. Sean Vick from Hawker Beechcraft, thank you very much for talking with us. You're welcome, thank you.